G'day, welcome to Matt's workshop. Today I'm going to use these recycled boards from Pallets to make some retro wall art. Um, so uh, the, the plan that I have is basically to use some of these uh, uh, boards as a backdrop, uh, which will form the canvas for our wall art. And then using additional pieces of uh, pallet board, we're going to be cutting out the Pac-Man shape and the little ghost that sits on there. We'll use some acrylic paint to uh, give it a bit of uh, liveliness and colour. And um, it's going to be a great gift idea for my uh, teenage son who likes all, likes all things retro. And So first of all, I want to measure these boards up and cut them down to size. I want them to be about 900 millimetres long and um, maybe just actually a little bit shorter. Let me have a good thing with um, working on a plan free, head from, uh, free hand or I suppose straight from your head is you can change the, the, uh, the measurements and the design as you go. Um, that's all part of the fun, it's not a piece of furniture, it's a piece of art. So we might actually make them 800, that'll give me enough room to, enough boards to be able to frame it up nicely and uh, it won't be too big for the space. So I'll just cut those down. So here I've cut the boards down to length and just arranging them uh, with the back side facing up. I'm going to now just um, measure out the, uh, the length for the support boards to go across there and then um, we'll glue and nail those on. Um, once that's done then we'll be able to move on to cutting the mitered frame around the edge. Gluing and nailing, that sounds like a great job for Cassie while I organise the frame. the four boards together with the buttons. Dad has cut out um, the four edge pieces. Now we're just going to glue and nail them on. So there we go, that's our board, canvas, that's what we're going to attach our, our retro art to. Um, the timber we've used is nice and light so it's not going to be too heavy hanging up on the wall. Now we've just drawn out some simple templates to mark out where we're going to put the Pac-Man and the ghost. So I'm just using a plate to trace around to get the shape of the Pac-Man. So I'm just going to draw that on now. So we're just using three bits of, I think it's pine, just to get the Pac-Man shape. Just a circle. And then we're going to do the ghost on this one. So we're going to make the ghost a little bit smaller. The bottom one. Okay. 
So I'm just going to use this one. It's a small plate for the ghost. But you can make yours any size you like. Mm -hmm. So now that I've got both circles, I'm just going to add the little details to the Pac-Man and the ghost. I have no idea what Cassie's been up to while I've been out of the shed, but now that she's done a great job of tracing out these uh, shapes, it's time to use the jigsaw to cut them out. Now we're just painting it with some acrylic paint to give it that touch of colour. 